Hello, today I would like to walk you through how to use EnableIf to restrict C++ template functions to certain types and how to do the equivalent thing with C++20's concepts. So on the screen here we see a simple function which has one templated function and it takes in a type and it just prints it to the screen. In the main body we have four different variables of four different types and this templated function is called with each variable and that will instantiate four different versions of this function one for each type so if we compile it and run it we see the same behavior for each of the different types but it may be that you want um, some behavior for one subset of these types and a different behavior for another subset of these types but you still want the function to be called the same thing print because maybe you're using that in a different template or um, maybe it's easier to remember the same name um, so in that case we're going to need to write two templated functions uh, one for int and long and other integer types and one for the floating point types So if we look at that version that is here, I've rewritten this using enable if to restrict this top template definition for the integers and the bottom uh, template for the floating point types. And this uses the concept of Sfine, substitution failure is not an error, and what happens is that if you write a template and it could and you give it a type and multiple templates uh, can use that type then you'll get a compiler error instead you need template substitution to fail on every one of the templates except the one that you want and it's called substitution failure is not an error because failing to substitute a type into that uh, template won't cause a compiler error instead it will silently discard it and look for other types so if I take int and try and substitute it and do this print template it will fail but then it will succeed for this one and that will be the function that is used so the way that we cause this uh, substitution error is by using enable if and uh, the magic of enable if is that it's a meta function that will return something when you want it to otherwise it'll return nothing and that will cause this signature this um, this argument to be garbage and therefore won't be able to do the substitution so before we just had one uh, template parameter it was type name t now we've added a second one that is a dummy parameter. It's a variable that we're not going to use in the um, body of the function. We're not going to use it at all. In fact, we don't even need to write the name of this parameter in order for it to succeed. The definition just needs to be there. So let's look at this from inside out. So inside here we have uh, is integral underscore v of t so s std is integral is a meta function takes into a type and then it creates a struct and that struct will have a type def for value that's true or false so for int and float this is going to give true for float and double this is going to give false at compile time then the magic happens through enable if and this underscore t means is a type def for colon colon type and uh, in CPP reference you can uh, find a nice explanation of this so if the bool is true then uh, then this uh, struct colon colon uh, type will be the type that you gave in the second argument otherwise it will just be empty and it won't have anything so for if, if this is integer then this will look like bool dummy param equals true 
if this is float, then this won't have a colon colon type. It won't have an underscore. Underscore T will be a meaningless type def, and this will be uh, garbage dummy param equals true. And that's what will cause the template instantiation to fail for types for which this returns false. And that's a pretty convoluted way of restricting the top definition to one group of types or classes and the second signature to a different uh, subset of types. So instead of that complicated method of including a second template argument that we don't care about, we aren't going to use it, and it's just there to make a mess for things we don't want, we can use C20 concepts. And the first thing I want to point out is that in our make file, instead of using C17, we need to use C20 and the F concepts flag. And in our main file, we again we've gone back to just a single template argument. We just care about type name. We just care about T. And instead, after the brackets where the template goes, we have this requires keyword. And after requires needs to come a compile time true or false. So it's a meta function that returns true or false. So is integral underscore v will do the job for us. And this example here. Um, this is probably the simplest way to, to write the example that I have here. Um, the top one requires that is integral if t is true, and the bottom requires that is floating point is true. And this will give us the same uh, behavior we had before. I forgot to compile and run it before, but just trust me that this does the same thing. Um, we have this is an integer for the first two, and we have this is a floating point for the second two. And so that's, in the simplest case, that's all there is to it. Um, usually, you're probably going to declare a concept and use it in the requires clause. Um, so we can uh, declare a concept, which is basically a meta function. Here, this, this integer concept is just a wrapper around is integral. And then instead of you know, writing the entire meta function here, you can, um, you can just have this concept here. So here I've, I've declared is integral, requires is an integer concept there. And then I have a separate concept, uh, float concept for the bottom one. And the advantage here is like then you can reuse it if you have multiple templates that use the same type of uh, requires clause, and the CPP reference page can take you how through how to um, do booleans with them and, and build up more complicated rules for when your template instantiation should succeed. So hopefully this will make things simpler if you are using templates in complicated ways where you need to leverage Fini. Thank you for watching.